Mike, thank you. Watching out for you. Another way to appreciate our planet on this Earth Day is to spend some time under the stars. And maybe, just maybe, you'll see a meteor. Those chances are high tonight as the Lyrid meteor shower is here. So let's bring in meteorologist Alex O'Brien live from the Space Foundation Discovery Center with some viewing tips for us. Hi, Alex. Hi, Allison. This is the place I go when I need to talk about space, and this would be a great opportunity in the next couple of days to get out with the family and observe the stars. So I'm going to bring in space expert Jeff Ganya with me today. What is the Lyrid meteor shower? Where did it come from? Tell me a couple facts about it. Okay, so the Lyrid meteor shower is the remnants left over from a comet which passed by the Earth's orbital plane. The last time it passed by Earth was four was 160 years ago. And a couple of cool facts about this meteor shower, glad you asked, are we are very used to the planets orbiting the sun in one orbital plane, but Comet Thatcher, which came by and causes the Lyrid meteor shower, actually orbited perpendicular to the orbits of the planets. So that is one neat fact. Another one, I actually have to ask you a question. What does the Lyrid meteor shower and have in common with A1 steak sauce? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> they were both invented in 1861. So technically, the Lyrid meteor shower was discovered in 1861, but that's the same year that A1 steak sauce was created. So what are some tips you have for folks who want to go out and view the meteors? Absolutely. So if you have a star app on your phone, you can find the star Vega. That is the brightest star that will be near the Lyrid meteor shower. And then the best tip I can give you, aside from looking north, northeast, when you find that star, is to give yourself some time, 10 to 15 minutes at least, for your eyes to adjust to the nighttime darkness with the city lights below so that they can pick up even those faint meteors. It's going to be a great time. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Good tips there. So we've been kind of dealing with cloud cover over the past couple of days, and we'll still have some of those clouds tonight to deal with about 40 to 70 percent coverage. But Friday night, Saturday night, almost clear viewing for the Lyrids meteor shower. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. I'm meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5.